Okay, this is my draft four cart that I made basically from scrap. Let's start at the back. This is the this is the draw bolt or the draw bar. Um, if I want to draw like a drag behind it or trailer, lawn equipment, whatever, piece of half inch uh, welded to a some square tubing, and then I'm trying it under here, and you can see there's it's braced up pretty good on the bottom and top. Big wide, big wide welds. Weld that to the frame. The axle is the rear end axle out of a I think it's a 92 Cutlass Supreme and I just flipped it over to give myself the proper clearance. I took all the braking units off it and got lucky with the wheels. I got two donuts that are matching and you can see on here that it's out of a 97 Bonneville. I'm missing a lug nut. I just didn't have enough. But it's a good looking tire. 15 inch. Black rims. Good tires. This one might have been used. But the other one I don't think was ever out of the trunk of the car. Uh, my seat. Is a seat. It's out of a camper. And it's a nice seat. Two people. Uh, two people real nicely fit on it. Real comfortable. What I did is uh, built a frame for it to sit on. You can see there. And I got these uh, these springs on it, are the valve springs, out of my father-in-law's race car, one of his race, racing engines. So it works works really good. But it's just a basic frame, and I got it welded down right to the uh, to the axle. It's real solid. And the back of the seat right here, there was a latch because this seat would flip forward for storage. So I took that off and right beside the bolt where my finger is, there's two nipples. So I drilled holes in this plate so it wouldn't spin. And then I welded a couple brackets on it to bolt on my slow moving vehicle sign. So the good New York drivers don't run into me. Um, the bottom of the thing is just, like I said, some scrap. There's some square tubing down the center and angle iron on the outside. This white part is the dash. It's basically the Nerf bars off my father-in-law's race car that were bent. I straightened that out, welded them together. Just got some primer on it right now. And uh, got a whip holder there, another piece of the race car bumper. And I used some rebar to brace it up. Um, the shafts are probably the only thing I purchased other than the wheels. Um, the shafts are, you give a good view there, they are Schedule 40 pipe which I had bent and they fit into another big piece of heavy pipe and that's all welded together make it very solid so the shafts you can see the bolt there that's a number eight bolt the shafts are replaceable if they get bent but this piece is all solid this green, green piece is the single tree that uh, you hook your traces to and it might need to get moved a little lower if I was pulling a heavy load but for now it's probably just fine I got a number eight half inch bolt welded to my frame so it's not going anywhere um, that's really strong stuff the race cars use that and that's never breaks and then I just braced my shaft unit with some square tubing and some some different stock here I had just to brace that for when it flexes or it goes over bumps. And uh, that's about it. Give you a little bit of a round the cart view here.
that ramp behind it is my father-in-law's race car trailer where this thing sits out of the rain while his race car is in the shop in the in the garage and then when the race car goes to the track this thing goes in the garage but uh, it's very heavy to pick up the shafts and then once there is a person on the cart the way I have the seat is sitting right over the over the axle and behind the wheels it almost neutralizes the weight so there's not a lot of weight on the horse's back but there's not there's not any lift on them either so it's good that way but it's a very very heavy cart which is perfect for a draft horse um, but it, it, it rolls real nice and uh, like I said it could take a pretty good load off that that hitch could, could really could really take a good load so that's it that's my cart there's more to come I got to get it sandblasted and painted but it's basically finished I don't think I'll paint the shafts I think what I'll do I have a bunch of shrink wrap that's black I might just shrink wrap the shafts I think that'll look pretty cool and that's it now that I have measurements and know what I'm doing I could make a really really nice one with some with some rectangle and square tubing and things like that it'd be really easy to make but that's it for now